What is going on you guys? My name is Rage and we are back today with another Doom 2.0 raid video guide for you all. In today's video, I want to showcase for you guys the five characters I'm currently using right now for the skill nodes. More specifically, this video will focus on the second node. So that being said, let's get started here. Without a doubt, the Secret Avengers are going to play a huge factor just due to their synergy. Um, they were actually built for raids, so you'll find that just having them is going to be almost paramount to having success, especially given how difficult these skill nodes are. But Captain Sam, he's going to be providing energy. He's got speed up, uh, the opportunity to actually soak up a lot of damage. As you can see, got lucky with the five red there, but absolutely paramount to have him built up because he's going to be soaking up a lot of damage for our fellow allies. Synergizing Captain Sam allowing a lot of damage output is going to be Crestral and as you can see all upgrades here and the one notable thing that's different with her is I actually did switch over to the Raider for ISO 8 here and I found that there's been a lot more passive damage when she is a Raider it's been more consistent so I would recommend uh, it did cost a bit to switch from Striker to the Raider but uh, has paid dividends so far right now as you also see in the gameplay footage. Next, we got Sharon Carter providing supportive capabilities. She's got a trusty stun. She's got a really good ability block for two turns. And she's going to be providing that utility for our roster and as well synergizing with the Secret Avengers here. Next, we got Maria Hill providing that supportive capability as well. She's got a strong heal that can cleanse. She can summon clones that can actually assist with Kestrel's passive. And furthermore, they can actually soak up damage as well if they're indirectly attacked from the enemies. So overall, again, synergizing with Secret Avengers, an absolute must-have. And last but not least, my final addition here is going to be Shang-Chi. And I can't say enough good things about the damage output that Shang-Chi has. As you can see, T4 on his ultimate and passive, he absolutely destroys in terms of damage. Especially when he synergizes with Kestrel, having the defensive down. Uh, his ultimate just tears him up apart, especially since it can't be a counter attack block or dodge. So some immense damage overall, and as well, short cooldowns for all his abilities, even with the 4 red here. So that being said, that is the five-man roster I got right now. Let's dive right into the gameplay. My Sharon Carter is a little banged up from the first note, but that is okay because we have two healers in Shang-Chi as well as Maria Hill. Starting off here, generally what's going to happen is Silver Surfer is likely going to use his ability block on one of our guys. and. The character you want him to focus is ideally Castro, but as you can see here, with Maria Hill actually blocked, we have to be wary of that. So starting off, it's very important. We have to start the basic attack on the security in the top left corner because what's going to happen is it allows the defense down to stick on both security and yellow jacket. For if security activates his taunt, we're going to still have the passive available. So I recognize that Maria Hill actually has the ability block, so we're going to go ahead and use the cleanse there from Shang-Chi to cleanse it. So that way, we're going to have Maria Hill summon and is our ultimate ready to go when needed. So now, uh, we're in a great opportunity here. You want to ideally focus uh, on ability blocking or controlling Silver Surfer in this situation. So right now, with Sharon Carter fully healed now thanks to Shang-Chi, we are going to fully take advantage of that here. We apply the ability block for two turns, absolutely beautiful, and we can kind of take our time now a little bit because the, the key target for us was Silver Surfer, and there's another one that's coming, and now we can actually just take our time and focus on Yellow Jacket here. So we go ahead, we summon the minions for the extra attacks, and you can see how powerful the uh, the passive attacks with the Raider and Kestrel uh, just combinating with each other here. One Yellow Jacket down along with the security. And now we're just kind of waiting and biding our time, waiting for Yellow Jacket to do his thing. But uh, fortunately here, we actually have the Captain Sam special to protect us, which is really nice. And this is the opportunity where now I would recommend using Kestrel special in that cluster because you can see immense damage. We want to chain attack that now with Shang-Chi's ultimate because there's a bunch of defense downs uh, available for us. So um, at this point, you should be able to use Captain Sam's ultimate here to actually provide the speed up, uh, give us an increase in meter here. And now we can actually fully utilize Shang-Chi's ultimate um, and it's just really about cleaning up the board here right ideally finishing off the first uh, silver surfer there that way it cleans out the board a little bit hopefully the passive attack finishes off the second yellow jacket which it does and now we have the handy ultimate that we saved from Sharon Carter and you really want to time it on the surfer because uh, this surfer is actually stronger than the first one so uh, a lot of damage there and this is extremely important why uh, we, we cleanse Maria Hill. As you can see, we were able to actually use her ultimate there to cleanse and make sure everyone's now fully healed. 
And this is a very fortuitous position because now we can take our time, use basic attacks, um, chain with the defense downs, and really try to build up energy uh, prior to the boss node here. So ideally, even at this moment, uh, we want to focus on Silver Surfer because what happens with him is he actually still gets a heal despite um, him not taking a turn. But fortunately, it doesn't apply when he's stunned. So that is why we focus Surfer even though he was stunned. And now we can just continue with the basic attacks here, finishing off Blob. And we're in a great position for the boss node. This is really where you want to be because we auto attack at the very end just to conserve our energy in preparation uh, to push towards the boss node here. So I hope this video was able to help and showcase the playthrough here, the one shot attempt. Thank you as always, you guys. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.